for raising a debenture you have to pay the interest and that interest is called as what cost of debenture if 100 rupees is the face value if it is issued at 100 rupees itself then it is issued at par if it is 100 rupees face value issued 10 percent more than the face value it is issued at a premium minimum rate of return the equity shareholders has to get and that is called as what that is called as cost of equity Hello everybody, I am your Devya Ma'am, Assistant Professor from Department of Commerce and Management lecturing with Dhyashram First Grade College, Mysuru, the Temple of Excellence. It's a honor and privilege to welcome you all for the session one on your unit one called as Cost of Capital. So the agenda for today's discussion, concepts and formulas. So in the last class, your introduction class i have in detail discussed about the syllabus in today's class we'll take up the chapter that is your cost of capital and we'll be discussing the theoretical part and the formulas of your unit one cost of capital before moving to the problems on the formulas we'll be discussing what is cost of capital is all about capital is nothing but an investment what is capital capital is nothing but the investment the money so if you are raising the fund in the form of equity in the form of preferential in the form of debenture so there will be certain expenses there will be certain costs that will be associated with reference to your raising of fund so that is called as what cost of capital so what is cost of capital it is the minimum required cost of return expected by the investors so what investors expect a minimum return and that return is called as what cost so for raising a debenture you have to pay the interest and that interest is called as what cost of debenture if you are issuing the preference share you have to give a preferential dividend to the shareholder so that is what that is your preferential dividend is the cost of preference for equity shareholders so at the end of uh, the year after distributing the dividend after paying to the preference shareholders everybody it has to return the money later the equity shareholders will get the return so that is the cost that is bared by a investor so all these are the costs that is associated with the capital and that is called as cost of capital so what is cost of capital it is the minimum required cost of return expected by its investors so it is the rate of return on investment necessary to live and change the market price of the firm so one more thing before moving to the next slide cost of equity is equal to cost of retained earnings so cost of equity is equal to cost of retained earnings moving forward next is computation of cost of capital so how do you compute the cost of capital the first is you need to calculate the specific cost first is what calculation of specific source of finance calculation of cost of debt cost of equity cost of preference so symbolically it is represented as cost of debt cost of equity cost of preference shares cost of retained earnings all together will be called as what overall cost of capital or weighted average cost of capital so the computation of each source of finance cost is called as what specific cost the first step what you need to do in your problem is calculate the specific source of finance moving forward next you need to calculate the specific average cost of capital what is this average cost of capital overall cost of capital weighted average cost of capital so that is the second thing the first is specific source of finance the first source of finance is what cost of debenture so cost of debt may raise at par 
premium and at discount so what is this par premium and at discount if 100 rupees is the face value if it is issued at 100 rupees itself then it is issued at par if it is 100 rupees face value issued 10 percent more than the face value it is issued at a premium if 100 rupees is the face value if it is issued less than the face value that is your 90 rupees then it is at a issued at a discount so cost of debenture so cost of debenture will be issued at par premium and at discount this cost of discount or this cost of debt what is this cost of debt cost of debt is a rate of return that is expected by the lender what is it so cost of irredeemable debenture and cost of redeemable debenture. So you have two calculation as I have told you cost of redeemable debt and cost of irredeemable debt. Redeemable means so during a stipulated time period let's say 5 years, 10 years or 12 years the amount what the investor have given that has to be returned along with the interest. So that is your Redeemable debt, redeemable debenture, irredeemable means once the company is closed after the lifetime of the company, they can give back the money. So that is irredeemable concept. So both the calculation has to be done with the formula before tax and after tax. Moving forward, so what is the formula cost of irredeemable debt? Before tax, it is nothing but interest divided by net proceeds. So, interest divided by net proceeds. After tax formula, interest divided by net proceeds 1 minus tax. So, this is the formula. So, redeemable, irredeemable formula before tax and after tax. Moving forward, the cost of redeemable debt formula before tax and after tax. Cost of debt is equal to interest plus maturity value mv stands for what maturity value np stands for what net proceeds divided by n all divided by maturity value plus net receipts divided by 2. So, this is the formula of before tax problem. Again, we have after tax 1 minus tax rate is the only thing we are adding into interest plus maturity value minus net proceeds divided by number of years whole divided by maturity value plus net proceeds divided by 2. So, only these two are the formulas that we have for your redeemable debt before tax and after tax. So, the only difference what we have in before tax and after tax is in after tax we will add only 1 minus t that is it. So, the formula will be same as before tax. So, this is the formula that is there to calculate the specific cost of debt. Moving forward next if we have is preference shares. So, what is preference shares? So, preference shares are the or, uh, owners, preference shares are the investors who have a preferential right over their dividend irrespective of the earning. So, that is preference shares. Preference shares is one of the component of capital structure which carries fixed rate of dividend as per the IT Act that has to be payable. Preferential shares are not allowed as an expenses hence no adjustment is required for the factor. What is the formula cost of irredeemable preference shares? Dividend, preferential dividend over net proceeds divided by net proceeds. So, preferential dividend. So, dividend divided by net proceeds is the formula for preference shares. Which preference shares? Irredeemable preference shares. Moving forward, cost of redeemable preference shares. What is the formula? Cost of preference is equal to preferential dividend plus maturity value minus net proceeds divided by n and whole divided by maturity value plus net proceeds divided by 2. So, this is the formula for your redeemable preference shares. So, it can also be used as this. Moving forward, cost of equity share capital. So, what is equity share? Equity shareholders are the real owners of the company. So, after getting return for all the source of finance that is your after paying dividend, after paying uh, uh, interest, the last will be the equity shareholders and they'll be getting the return. So, that is why they are called as real owners of the company. So, cost of equity capital may be defined as a minimum rate of return that a firm must earn on the equity 
financed a part and investment in order to unchange the market price of the share so that is the minimum rate of return the equity shareholders has to get and that is called as what that is called as cost of equity so cost of equity in other words cost of equity is the rate of return which equates the present value of expected dividend with the market price of the share so that is the return what they get so the market price of the share and the dividend what is expected that is called as the the cost of equity moving forward methods or the approaches of calculating the cost of equity or equity capital dividend yield return method or dividend approach dividend yield plus growth in dividend method and it is also uh, earnings yield method and realized yield method so these are the formulas that we have so what is the formula formula is cost of equity is equal to eps earnings per share divided by net proceeds or cost of equity is equal to earning per share divided by market price market price um, is given in the question you have to take the market price whenever market price or the net proceeds is given you have to always take market price for the calculation or we have earnings or dividend divided by net proceeds plus growth or cost of equity is equal to earnings or market price plus growth so growth is given you have to substitute the formula so based on what is given in the question you have to substitute the formulas next methods or approaches of the calculation of equity capital so we all these are the different uh, formulas that we have as i have told you cost of equity is equal to cost of retained earnings so this is retained earnings next we have is weighted average cost of capital that is overall cost of capital so what is overall cost of capital refers to it is nothing but it is the summation or the average of all the capital all the specific capital and that is called as overall cost of capital so it refers to the weighted average cost of different sources cost of equity cost of difference cost of debt cost of uh, preference all together if you add in the summation is called as overall cost of capital and it is symbolically represented as cost of capital overall cost of capital that is k subscript with o overall cost of capital so uh, vac can be calculated as follow so this is the formula for calculation of vac so moving forward let's discuss the format of the uh, vac so computation of vac so this will be asked for 15 marks my dear students so in your examination you have to ca uh, calculate each and every specific cost redeemable or irredeemable before tax or after tax you have to calculate all the specific cost of capital once you calculate the specific cost of capital then you can easily compute your vac so this is a vac table vac format and you have to in detail understand the vac table so what is the vac sources of finance we have equity share preference share retained earnings debenture the amount will be given in the question the total of that will be the this total column and next we have weight how do we get the weight each specific amount divided by total amount you get the weight for example preference share is 5 lakh and overall total cost is 10 lakh so 5 lakh divided by 10 lakh what amount you get and what value you get that is weight so that is how you have to calculate weight for each and every sources of finance next what next column is what it is all about specific cost it is represent symbolically represented as k each specific cost what we have computed that we have to write here next weighted cost so how do you get weighted cost weight into specific cost weight into specific cost if you multiply these two you'll get the weighted cost and the total of that will be vac weighted average cost of capital the total of this is vac so this is for this only you will be getting 15 marks in your examination so in today's class 
to conclude so we have discussed what is cost of capital is all about what are the different sources of capital how to calculate our specific cost what are the formulas we have cost of debt we have discussed what is cost of preference redeemable irredeemable formula we have discussed we have also discussed what is cost of equity different formulas of cost of equity we have also discussed what is vac how to compute the vac table so this is for 15 marks the entire slide what we have discussed in today's class all together if you solve in a one problem with the given question then you can easily get 15 marks in your examination so that's it my dear students for today's class hope the session was interesting and fruitful smile is the biggest jewel you can wear people keep smiling thank you